So I went from I woke up like this, literally. And Rihanna got me looking like this, honey. Like, yes. <laughs> But first, let's get into this hair because I live for a good side swept curly or deep wave style and I can literally make this style of wig in different colors, different lengths because this is my go-to look if you guys haven't noticed yet. And this particular hair is by You Amazing Hair. It's their deep wave texture. I have in three bundles of 20 inches. I got a 18 inch frontal and the frontal is actually a 13 by 6 frontal. It's a little bigger. It gives you more parting space. Frontal comes pre-plucked as well, so I didn't really have to do much. All I had to do was bleach the knots. And I actually kind of regret going back to pluck it a little bit more because it looked pretty good how it came. But either way, we live and we learn, right? I do have a very in-depth video on how I customize my frontals, different ways I used to apply my wigs, and all that good stuff. I'm going to link it down below. I'm also going to link down below a detailed how I make my frontal wigs tutorial. Yeah. Hello, and you guys saw how crazy I was looking at the beginning of this video with the hair all poofy because you know I finger combed it out all the way because I was messing with it prior to the video. And after I sprayed some water, waves popping or curls, whatever you want to call it. And I glued it down this time because I'm trying to keep it on for some time due to some things that I'm doing. I'm loving it. It's light and airy. I'm going to leave all links and information in the info section down below and i'm just not getting a chance to try out the ever so highly hyped fenty beauty yeah normally i don't get hyped when all these makeup lines come out with their different collections or whatever like i i don't go out and buy any of that stuff but there's something about rihanna that i absolutely adore so i had to definitely get my hands on the product i'm not a stan or nothing but i like her <laughs> I placed my order on the day the line launched because in my mind I was like oh gosh this stuff is gonna be sold out before I even blink an eye so I stayed up I went straight to the Fenty Beauty website as I was about to check out the foundation shade that I chose was sold out I pretty much matched myself with the pictures online I decided I was gonna go with 430 I went on Sephora I ordered it Sephora had everything stocked so I got, and I was almost about to get 420 instead on the Fenty Beauty website, but once I got to Sephora and Sephora at 430, so I decided to get the 430. Hopefully it matches me. It's a neutral undertone. I have more of like mostly yellow going on, but I felt neutral is going to work. And a lot of people are going crazy about Trophy Wife. It's not my cup of tea. Like even when I saw it on Rihanna, I was like, it's too glittery, it's too yellow. Like, yes, you can use a very little amount of it, but look, my skin already got all this yellow going on. And then you want me to put some yellow highlighter? Do you know what I'm gonna look like? Banana. Like, I don't I don't wanna look like a fucking banana. I'm gonna go ahead and open my box and see what we're looking like in there i didn't really get much i only got you know some stuff that i feel like i'm gonna need already you guys know already i like makeup but i'm not like a makeup guru or like crazy like that when it comes to makeup i only get like the bare minimum when it comes to anything makeup related i got the foundation in the shade 430 kilowatt highlighter duo and mean honey and hustler baby the match sticks in suede and espresso espresso is gonna be like a contour shade and suede is gonna be highlight every single person i've seen this lip gloss on it looks good on them and i love a good lip gloss on a very good day so that's all i got i'm gonna go ahead and quickly fill in my brows Spray my hair so that the curls can be a bit more popping by the time I'm done with this video. Come here, quick on buzzy. Come here, quick on buzzy. Feel like get lit right now. Feel like get loose right now. Get me love the way you wine, panties. Get me love the way you grind, panties. Yeah, you never let me beg for it. So 
now I'm trying to decide whether I should use one of my primers or not. I don't get too, too oily. And when I do, it's normally on my T-zone area. So I'm going to skip primer as well because, you know, the foundation is pretty matte. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. powder brush. Very cheap brush, but it does wonders. It's looking a bit orange, <laughs> but hopefully it all blends in at the end. Ain't never let me back for it. Ain't never never stingy. Baby, look into my eyes. Baby, look into my eyes. I love you, baby. Don't be lying. Love you, baby. Don't be lying. My bad. Your body on my body. Your body on my body. One thing that I do notice. It makes your skin look really smooth. I'm not saying if you have very textured skin that it's just going to make your skin look like butter. No. <laughs> but it definitely makes your skin look better. And I got a pretty good coverage just from that one application. You can build it up if you want. Once I highlight a little bit, um, things are going to blend a little bit better. My body on your body. Your face to stand out a little bit. If you want to just baba bump out, highlight in your face kind of person, you probably will have to layer it with your favorite concealer. Got me like got a girl feeling away. Got my soul in Don't care what nobody say. This boy's I chase them away. And I feel alone, please come through. You know you don't want baby, don't you? I'm gonna be doing like the very very minimal when it comes to my makeup today. I'm gonna blend that out. I'm gonna take cherry cocoa, my makeup geek, and place that on top. Don't worry, boy, I got you. Got my mumu butty in my control. And then use Morocco, also by makeup geek, and I'm gonna use that to blend that out. My body on your body, come a little close. I'm using chickadee for my brow bone highlight. Only you, there's nobody. I don't even know how you got me feeling funny. You got me thinking of you. I love me a matte face, but I gotta also put that glow back in there because I love glowing. This looks more like the kind of gold that I like. You got me thinking naughty. You know it, baby. I like a nice nose glue, okay? <laughs> I'm actually gonna place some in the middle of my lid as well. My body on your body. Um, I have on Imani and I like it. Perfect. I love my soap I light. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your secrets. 
Promise to keep it. Promise to keep it. Yeah. Based on logistics. Yeah. Your background, my heart. Oh, yeah. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your secrets. I promise to keep it. So here is the finished look. Hopefully you guys like this video. Everything came together pretty nicely after I've highlighted and contoured and settled into my skin. I think it's a pretty good match. I'm definitely loving the foundation. I don't have to wait several hours to test it out to figure out whether I love it or not. I'm in love with it. It's probably going to be my new holy grail. If you don't get anything else from this collection, definitely get this foundation. I love the lip gloss. Do you really need it? not really it's nice it's not really sticky smells nice feels good on the lips looks good on the lips so why not but if you're trying to save some money you don't really need it the match sticks i like the contour stick the highlight stick if you're a natural highlight kind of person or you just want to try it out get it the contour stick i definitely like it and i like how they blend that as well what else did i get Oh, the highlighter. If you're scared of trophy wife or you don't like that glittery yellow gold-ish look as well, try this out. Try out the Hustler Baby. It's kind of like a rose goldy type of gold, but it shows up more goldish looking on the skin. As you guys can see, I'm feeling myself. Like, why not? Like, my husband is about to take me out too. So, why not? Just look at the glue. Like, I just love glowing. Like, just look at me. I Get the Hustler Baby. I love it. It's not too overpowering. It's not too glittery. It just looks nice on the skin. You feel me? I didn't get the blotting paper. I don't feel like I need it. I don't think I'm going to get oily. And if I do, I can just use like my regular face powder like I've been doing. I didn't get any of the brushes or the uh, sponge because I feel like I don't really need it. I already have too many brushes and sponges. Literally, I get the bare minimum when it comes to a lot of this stuff. I hate it when I have too many products. I tend to eventually start getting overwhelmed and I have to get rid of them. If you're interested in the outfit that I wore with this look, then here it is. I also posted it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me. My name is pretty much Peak Mail with an extra L at the end. That pretty much sums up this video, this whole look. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling myself. I'm going to leave all info, all links in the info section down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.